Hello everyone, today I'm going to have my very good friend Danny Rivera show you how to change the wheel hub on a boat trailer. He will be installing a universal wheel hub. If you ever need Danny to fix anything for you, vehicles especially, you can always call him at 941-580-8882. The address to his uh, shop is 4523 30th Street West, Unit A as an Adam, 104 Bradenton, Florida. Alright, we're doing here a video how to change a hub on a boat. Um, it's a five and three quarter size, uh, just replaced the other side. Um, it was making a lot of noise, the salt somehow gets to it. So, here you go. Uh, we're about to do the chef buddy here. Uh, try to pull it off. Sometimes they rust. There you go. There's, out of there, you see how that, how rusted is it? Because the salt gets in there with the grease and water and just rusts it out. Uh, you got to get a somewhat a clean rag and clean this stuff out here. Should be a cotter pin right there. And how we do it is uh, you pull this cotter pin out. Can I get a copy of that? I want a picture of Danny working. <laughs> That's good. If we can get this clip out. It's rusted in there. There we go. It's a clip. We need to replace that cotter bin. Get the bearing nut off. right here sometimes these bearing uh, they call them body bearings uh, it's got the the, the pin in there to regrease re re it pull that out there's an old bearing there should be a flat washer in it and pull the wheel up and that's all it is to it see how it's all rusted out I used to pull the tire off with a hub because it's a lot easier. And you have to clean all this out. Prep it all up. Check for any scratches or marks and anything. Send it down a little bit. So. And that will be it. We'll be back with the installation. Alright, we're back here again. Uh, this is called... Uh, probably a hub or sleeve savers in case you get uh, like a scratch or something on the hub on the axle and the, you, we need to take these off and also replace them when you buy the hub completely it comes with everything somebody replaces them at some point so there there it is so clean this up a little bit We have to blow this hole off for the grease fitting where it goes. You do take that off, and then you're going to be replacing it with a hub buddy right here. You clean it up a little bit so you can see it in the middle. So use one, it's still good. And then there's a fitting that goes here. You got to get it out of there. And then there's a little, like, call it a pilot hole or something right here. You got to blow it out. That's where the grease enters. See that? See that little grease that just came out? Put a rag there, get all that saw and all that nasty grease out of here. That's it for that. And if you feel any burrs or you use this little right here around sandpaper and just do a little of that.
not too much just a little bit to clean it up this is a step where the seal rise at and then this is ready to go I got the new hub assembly it's a pre-pack assembly it's got the front and the rear bearing with the seal already on it make sure it's all clean and just slide it up in there seat it up real good Then you got the washer, hose the bearing in with the nut. Make sure you clean all the parts before you put them in. Try to seat it and turn it around. And uh, don't over tie it. Tie it a little bit, turn it, back it out, tie it, try to seat it properly. And then once it's in there, you're trying to find a, the hole where your cotter pin goes. Which this one's messed up, I gotta go get one. And I'll be right back. Okay. All right, there's a new cotter pin. Insert it right here. If you can find a hole, you gotta line up the nut with it. And usually, uh, do a couple bends on it towards the front. You don't want to put it on the side of the nut because it'll. You won't be able to press this thing in there. Your bearing, buddy. As long as you got it in there, it won't come out. Check for play, up and down, side to side. Should be ready to go. You gotta clean this old grease from in here. Try to get all that stuff out. That's a universal hub? Yes. They sell these for every boat, car trailer. You can get it at your auto parts or your trailer place. They're, they're about 60, 70 bucks. If you buy them pre-packed, it's a lot cheaper. And these are separate unless you want to buy the stainless steel. So because the metal ones, they, they ride out and they get all rusted and then you get salt water in there. So that's like a cover for the... Uh, yeah, it's a bearings. cover and a regreasable oh, or yeah. serviceable, what they call it, cover, dust cap. Then the way I do it, here's a thread locker Loctite so you won't get salt water in it. Put it on the margin or the edge. And then you spread it all around evenly. And then you put it in the hub. Hammer it in slowly. Why are you taking a picture? And that will be it. Same thing I just did. Lost the wheel. Yeah, doing a hover. Alright. Last step is uh get your grease gun and grease that bearing up.
There's just a dust shield cap or the blue cover right there that pops out when it's full, when it's evenly. So you just pump on until it all comes out? Yep, pump it until that little cover comes out. I usually spread a little grease back here in the seal, keep it from, keep that salt from going in there. After all this, it doesn't matter what you do, you're still, you're still gonna have to replace this next year again if you use a boat of salt water. And then last step I will do, I will usually uh, put a cup of, of my personal use, because um, I'm into water a lot. Uh, usually put a couple of well tacks here. It prevents the cover, dust cover, and the grease buddy We're at. popping out. Right right here in this little corner. Oh, tack hold it? The, yeah, just a little couple of tacks. I put like two or three tacks on it, and that'll be it. You put your tire on, and you're done. Nice. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, this is a little bit what we do here at uh, uh, j Ross Automotive, uh, Brainton, Florida, 4523 30th Street West. If you want to get a hold of me, 941-580-8882 or at 941-224-0999. Thanks for watching. All right, here we are for my personal trailer for the bearing buddy so it won't um, spit them out. I usually give a couple of tack weldings. I only do this when I replace everything brand new. So like that, you won't have to never really have to take it out for a while if you put it in salt water. So. Welds, put sealing in it, and you're good for a while.